I once said that A Confederacy of Dunces was one of my favorite books, and a number five, and it is. But there was one book that came very close to beating it, and that was Gulliver's Travels. So, Gulliver's Travels is probably one of my favorite books, and on this episode I just wanted to speak in defense of it. Because I think a reaction that a lot of people have from reading this book is, what the hell did I just read? And there's a lot of weird stuff about it. But here's the reason why I like this book. Because I just love island adventure stories. I, I'm serious. Any story where someone's traveling to different islands, I don't know. I've always had a weakness for boats and riding off into the seas. And Gulliver's Travels does that for me. It's why, you know those Legend of Zelda games? I've, I've talked about them before on this show. I always loved Wind Waker from the little I played of it. Because it was just like, you're just going around on a boat and you're traveling to these magical islands. And I just, whenever I, I read Gulliver's Travel, I'm like, there it is, the absolute pinnacle of adventure. It's just driving around on the ocean, just having a fun time in your boat. And I, I know Gulliver's Travels is a little bit weird. It's, it's a very strange story with talking horses and the guy ends up wanting to be a talking horse. And, you know, the guy's like fighting lily putts and stuff like that. It, it's sort of a strange story, but you gotta remember, too, that it is a fairy tale. And I gotta be honest, none of the weirdness throws me off. I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of a, a weird world. It's a satire, so they're making fun of things. There are plenty of deep thoughts in the Gulliver's Travels, and I, I, I feel like I get lost in that world myself. I, I really like it. And in fact, I think it's just a fun book. I mean, it even has sort of a ambiguous ending, you know. I, I think Lee Moore Gulliver will eventually go off on another adventure. I don't think it's done yet. And I, I think that, I think this book is underrated, if anything. I think it should be known by every child. Every child should read this book, because there's a lot of good things in it that everyone needs to know. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say to you tonight. Sorry I can't bring you more, but it is getting pretty late, and I Barely going to have time for this episode, but you'll see some better episodes in the future. But I just wanted to say that here on the couch, we love Gulliver's Travels, my sixth favorite book. See you all later. Oh, and remember, think big, think differently.